Assalamu alaikum. Today I'll be sharing with you my khatira about haram or unlawful foods in Islam. To start off, we all know the two main things Muslims cannot consume, which are alcohol and pork. Pigs are known to eat anything, even waste and filth, and could contain different types of bacteria. Green worms are common in them, and they have had many viruses in the past. Other animals which cannot be eaten are those with fangs, birds of prey, reptiles, and mules slash donkeys. Animals with fangs or canine teeth are not permissible because they eat other animals, and it is not halal to eat animals who are carnivorous. Animals with talons eat rodents and other animals as well, making it non permissible. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, forbid the consumption of mules and donkeys. Narrated by Abdul Rahman ibn Shabir, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbid eating the flesh of lizards. This is the same with any other reptile. It is also important to note that any animal not sacrificed for Allah, or any animal strangled, beaten, or smitten by a horn to death, as well as dying to a fall or a wild beast, cannot be eaten as mentioned in Ayah 3 of Surah al maidah Allah said in Ayah 173 of Surah Al-Qarah, He is only forbidden to dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, either desiring it or transgressing its limits, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. It is essential to know that when needing to eat, and having no other permissible options available at serious times, it is okay to eat haram foods and not overfill but take away the hunger and shall not be considered a sin. It is very important to know what we as Muslims cannot eat as stated by a sunnah or chronic text due to the animals either being filthy, dangerous, or not spiritually correct to consume, putting our bodies at risk of disease physically and spiritually. May you all have good health, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.